Hi, I'm Kian, and today I want to show you, uh, show you an interesting method on calculating factorials. So, here we have a question, what is 2 factorial? So, another 2 factorial is just 2 times 1, which is 2, but this is an easy way. Uh, but we want to do the hard way, and we are a function called the pi function. Pi function is a uh, function represented by this integral, which is precisely used to find factorials, and um, it uh, can be used to find also fraction factorial such as one half factorial or three over two factorial but in this video we want to use like something that is known two factorial and then uh we want to solve this uh question using the definition of um the pi function so we know that the pi of x or the pi function uh evaluated at x is equal to the integral from zero to infinity of t to the power of x times e to the power of negative t dt now when we evaluate this pi function at 2 this is just uh integral from 0 to infinity of um t squared times e to the negative t so how do we solve it solve it so i'm going to write it again um may another video uh, another um color so this is the integral and then from 0 to infinity and then we have t squared and then e to the negative t dt so for evaluating this integral first I'm going to do um, a integration by parts uh, on the side and then evaluate at the uh, integration bounds limit uh, bounds so I'm going to do a integration parts named known as the di method or the tabular method um and there's a sign change so we have plus and then minus and then plus and then minus okay so i'm gonna use a different color so i'm gonna differentiate t squared because it's easier and i'm gonna integrate e to the negative t um integrating e to the negative t is negative e to the uh negative t Again, integrating another time, uh, we get, again, back to um, e to the negative t. And then integrating it another time, we get um, negative e to the negative t. To the negative t. Differentiating t squared is just 2t. Differentiating it again, we get 2. And again, we get 0. So now we should just multiply these numbers so this by this number this by this and then these two together to find the integral so i'm going to use again a different color so for this integral this is just um negative t squared times e to the negative t and then we have a minus sign so this is again minus um, 2t e to the negative t and then we have um, again um, there's a minus e to the negative t times a plus so again we have a minus minus 2 e to the negative t and then I just have to evaluate this from 0 to infinity 0 to infinity. Okay, so evaluating it at infinity, what do we get? Uh, because e to the negative t is way, it goes way faster than t squared, it actually dominates. So as e goes to, as um, t approaches infinity, if you take the limit, e to the negative infinity goes to 0. So this part just goes to 0, as um, um, like if you take the limit as it goes to infinity. Same with this part. Again, it has an e to the negative t, so it goes to 0. Same as this part. So all of the parts evaluated at infinity is just 0. So we get 0 and then minus. Evaluating it at 0, what do we get? We have um, here 0 squared just 0, minus 0, and then minus 2 times e to the negative t. e to the 0 is just 1, times negative 2 is just negative 2, and then we subtract these two numbers we get a familiar answer we just get two which is actually the value for two factorial 
So this is uh, another representation of a factorial function, uh, factorials using the pi function via an integral. And this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and.